Right, so I'm just going to break down SMP, okay? Or SPX, whatever you can call it, okay? So, look where we are now. So, it's very bullish since that big drop, okay? Taking out, you know, this low, okay? Big rejection, okay? And it's pushed back up. So, short term, where would be the next objective, okay? Just looking at the monthly, we'll break it down. But just look at the monthly, okay? It's going to be this monthly high next, which is December high. So, let's mark that out. 2014.16, okay? So we've got that marked out. Okay. And then obviously it's going to be this low there. Because that low had a rejection. Okay. So, you know, there's some sort of bounce there. So this is going to be a nice SR level if we go to the lower time frame. Let's go to the weekly. Okay. Things get a bit clearer. Okay. So we're right at that resistance level there. A bit of sell off. Okay. So I'm going to refine this level down and make it more short term, which is going to be last week's high why because we've taken out last week's high and we've rejected below it now the question is is this a, is this the high end i don't think so but is this the high end or what do we look for to get on board to, for it to push higher with higher probability so i'll mark our last week uh, week's high which is 28.315 i'm just trying to establish what range are we in okay where are we trapped uh, or capped within is that high there so all i'm going to focus on is this area right now i can mark a more top down but there's no point, okay? Like this, for example. Low, deviated it, failed, hit it again, clean break, sold off. As soon as it got back above it, uh, pushed up. So at that point, for those that short it there, where's the liquidity can be resting? These highs here, okay? So that's just the basics of it. Let's just focus on more short term now. So that's that. Let me break this down further, okay? And go to the daily. What's happening with the daily? The daily, okay, it's had two day pullback. And but look what the daily candle is looking like so far. So we can see that this daily candle today is is taken out this low and it's closing within yesterday's range now. So it's looking bullish, okay? So let's break it down further, okay? Uh, can I go to the H4? And you can see where the moves are originating from. So from this low, consolidation here, drive, draw that across, it's pushing up from there. So far it's making a higher low. That made a higher high, okay? Compared to that, higher low. Let's break it down even further. H1, okay, <clears throat> now that that's all the way, this is where it gets interesting, so, if we look, we came down, and we took out this low here, okay, and then, what did we do, we pushed up, made a higher high, okay, now, at this point, now that we've taken our liquidity from these lows, whatever the pullback is, okay, I want it to stay above here, so what I'm doing is establishing an invalidation level, later on, I can get tighter, but that's what I'm establishing, what else did it do? It came back into the point or the consolidation where the move, this up move, initiated from. So now we go to the lower time frame and then mark it up clearer. All I'm looking for is a later day trade. That's all I'm looking for. I don't know all that for a later day trade, okay? Now we can see clearly the range we've kept in. So we, that's last week's high. If we look, where did it come down into? It came down into this low here that was taken, okay? There. And if I mark this across, okay, this consolidation here. Okay, it's found support now. Now, what further confirms this? Okay, so we've done that. It's took out the lows into key support, rallied up. So now I can break it down further. So I'll go to the five minute, okay? And what am I targeting? I'm just targeting this liquidity pool here. So if I mark this out, intra week, okay? I'm trying to find the mean intra week, okay? Is this really, and if the mean means anything, so that's the high of the week, and that's the low of the week so far, okay? If we look, I'm looking for a pivotal level, which is this here. That is halfway of the week so far so if i mark that up i look at it has it been pivotal has it proven itself well last week okay when it deviated it it got back below it what did you do it sold off this week support rallied when you broke it what did you do it sold off ignoring this as an anomaly fast move down fast move up i don't in include that it's cancelled so let me just zoom in a bit we can see it's acting as a key sr here pushes up but then when it fails again it breaks down the question now is coming to that so would you now all agree that this is the mean now okay we're dealing with or a pivotal level okay so i'll just box that out now okay question is how do i get on board so i've established where does it want to go most likely it's going to be here why because of what's happened so far from the top down breakdown i've did so how do i get on board when it's higher probability so previously if we've established that every time it makes a clean move above this okay it should push higher okay so if this was to break above this look for my bullish price action 
where am I targeting here okay if we get above this level and hold support what is that level last week high okay well last week high okay so if it's back above last week's high that opens the gates for these highs here then and from the monthly I've marked out a higher level that I should reach is everybody clear with that so far okay so now I've established where I'm wrong I've established a plan for it okay can I get on board earlier well let's look at let's break this down further now if we look this was the initial low set for the day okay it deviated it into the key level it got back above it but look where it's finding support right at the initial low for the day since then it's been pushing higher so how do I execute on this trade now the way I execute on it okay how deep does it pull back we've taken out these highs here short term intraday okay so intraday you can say the intraday range okay is going to be this here is capped between here okay that's what I can establish and if I want to get more picky into it okay it's not the futures trading hours but the Globex but it, that's fine this is where it's capped between okay I've established that this is a range what I want to see is a break out of a range. Consolidations lead to expansion. So if it breaks out of this range cleanly, so this so far is pushed up but back within it. That's what that is not what I want to see for a, a, a long. For a higher probability longs, what I want to see is historically what's it done when it makes a clean break above it, retests it, bullish price action, it pushes up. So what I want to see now is this. If I get the bullish price action there, then whatever the down. So for example, sake, I'll mark a plan now. I've been posting charts. What a plan is there. If it does this and then that, that becomes my invalidation, okay? And then I've got a clear target to reach for, which is here, okay? And that's it. So my trigger would be here then. At that point, I've got the odds in my favor. I've got a clear plan. It's proven previously how pivotal this level is. Now we wait for the market to prove it to us. Is that crystal clear? Otherwise, if I'm sure that this is the invalidation level, okay, because it's already taken out these lows, and if I've got a bullish bias, I don't want a stop loss that low, okay? Whereas even if I get on board later on, I get a tighter stop loss, which means more R. I'm not bothered about catching high or low. I'm bothered about when the probabilities are in my favor, then I step in. I believe the probabilities will be in my favor if it does this, and then I step in. Crystal. And this is just a short-term day trade I'm looking for. Nothing big, just a day trade, okay?